Tu. Står där ute? Kan du höra vad jag säger? Då har det fungerar. Ehm för vi går lös på kvällens möte så vill jag bara informera om mötet vi har om 14 dagar. Eh eh Eladio Deste från Uruguay har blivit inbjuden till Oslo en gång tidigare. Eh 3-4 år sedan. Han kom inte den gång. det föregår någon dagen en febrilsk kommunikation mellan Oslo och Uruguay. Eh, hvor vitt han vil komme, det er litt uklart, fordi mannen er 80 år og ganske syk. Eh, det vi vet er at vi har eh, ting eh, på tapetet en kveld. Einar Dahl, blant annet, som har vært på en reise i Sydamerika i tre uker. Han har reist i de fleste landene og sett eh, alt fra Nymar, Corbusier, Dieste, en del andre ting. Han vil ta en del av den kvelden dersom Dieste ikke kommer. Vi jobbar också med en alternativ plan som är osäker förlöpig. Så vi har nog gått ut i arkitekten att kalla det en eh, sydamerikansk afton och det hoppas vi ska klara och lägga här. Även om då det kanske inte kommer. I kväll så har vi två ting på programmet. Ehm det första är Sverige Fen som vill visa sitt vinnarutkast i en konkurrens som blev utlyst eh hösten eh, 94. Det var en inbjudet konkurrens eh, med 12 eh, norska arkitekter plus att den var öppen för eh, medlemmar av Stavanger arkitektförening. Og eh, vi har også da en utstilling ute som viser Sverre Fens vinnerutkast, pluss de premierte utkastene som er laget av utstillingskomiteen i, i OAF. Eh, deretter vil Sverre Fen introdusere eh, Danilo Gueri. Eh, Sverre Fen kjenner eh, Gueri fra tidligere, blant annet fra diverse besøk i Italia. Det tror jeg da, det vet Sverre veldig mye mer om enn det jeg vet. Og Sverre Fien, han trenger ingen introduksjon. Vi er veldig glad for at vi tør, eller vi er glad for at han sier ja. Selv om vi da kanskje i IT-forening nå driver litt rådrift på, på Sverre, så mener vi det er, det er noe vi bør gjøre. Og når så lenge Sverre sier ja, så er vi veldig happy. Så er det fint. Skal du få prøve dette her? Jeg snakker så høyt, jeg vet du. Ja, skal vi se. Jeg kan snakke mat. Skal vi ta det i lomma, kanskje? Ja. Nei, hva med skydde igjen? Det er ny jakke. Det er ny jakke. Jeg har ikke fått greier. Jeg har ikke fått opp lommene enda. Ja, dere hører hva jeg sier. Jeg, uffer, jeg, og jeg må få lov å takke foreningen for at jeg får lov, eller er så dristig å invitere meg for å presentere et så ferskt prosjekt, kan man si som Henrik Hille og jeg har tegnet, som Henrik Hille har tegnet da til denne konkurransen i Sølvdal. Det var en, det skal være et vassdragsmuseum og et kulturhus for Sølvdal kommune. Dere kan være litt forskrekket over størrelsen, men Sølvdal er en av de rikeste kommuner i Norge på grunn av all, all den kraften de selger rundt omkring. <laughs> så, eh, men eh, Vastraksmuseum er jo noe, noe veldig spennende. Det første man tenker på er i grunn eh, fossen og bråket og hjulet, altså eh, hjulet som ga energi en gang til, til eh, møllen og til sagen og eventuelt til fabrikken. Og, eh, det som har utviklet seg fra dette punkt, det er i grunn konkurransens innhold, det som har utviklet seg fra dette punkt til 
stillheten egentlig til det hemmelighetsfulle, for alt foregår nå inne i, i, i Norges fjell, holdt jeg på å si, inne i, i det skjulte. Og, 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 og der er, det eneste som er igjen er dammen, egentlig. Et stille vann enkelte steder på, 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 som er demt opp med en stor demning. Det er det man ser og føler ved denne enorme energiutladning som skjer i bunnen av, av, av fjellet, altså ved fjord, her i dette tilfellet, nede ved, 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 ved havet. Og denne energien har blitt så enorm at den, den, den møblerer da halve Europa etter hvert med, med energi. Og dette skal man da prøve å få uttrykt i et prosjekt eh, som, som, nå, som, som jeg nå skal vise. Jeg kan få lysbilde, ja. Jeg skal være veldig kort, for det er jo ikke meg som skal få det. Men bare for å gjøre det, så jeg får få litt sånn, ja. Og så er det uskarpt. Det blir vel bedre. Kanskje ikke det er bedre. Men, men for å orientere om, om det, så er det sand som, som dette tenker. Og eh, tomten er inne i skogholdt, kan man med inn mot denne elven som flyter gjennom, gjennom området. Suldalsvassdraget som kommer ned her. Det lager en stor dam. Laks fiskes ut av, 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 av uh, uh, ja, fin. Men, men en tomt er da dette området her. Og det, det er da en konkurranse hvor man går omtrent det er stor tomt, og her ser man da vassdraget, sullasvassdraget, så man går omtrent på den tomten som, om, som å prøve å finne et sted for dette museet. Og man går omtrent som når man går etter vann, altså leter etter en brønn med en sånn midjekvist, og går ned der og går ned der. Og den går ned mange steder der vi holder på å prosjektere av og til over her nede, av og til over på brinken, til og med uh, ulovlig på den andre siden. Og det var en utrolig leting inni dette kaldt og i denne, denne odden for å finne et plass til, til, til arkitekturen som, som da skulle ha, få en samtale med, med terrenget. Det var ikke på tomten heldigvis, tror jeg. Fordi at det, å gå i dette her blir det bare forvirret i den tette grasskolen. Og gran er mot, mot bydelig tre. Så det skal vi fjerne. Men tett der, og jeg tror de som var der fikk et sjokk og fant det hverken ut eller inn. Men vi er heldige å ha tid til å dra dit, så, så vi drev og drev på disse kåtene her, uten å være rekt av, av det å ikke finne frem. Neste. Ja, det er da tomten igjen. Det er ikke så mye å se, og det er, der er kulpen med laks. Neste. Så, så vi fant da, efter å ha vært omkring her, eh, en tomt som ligger mot dette uh, fjellpartiet som faller ned her. Vi trakk det helt opp mot denne ryggen av et fjell, og der begynte eventuelt eh, det innholdet som jeg skisserte opp, begynte å kunne få en arkitektonisk utforming. Eh, det var også, her er det Vilmark, du kommer ikke over her, så med i konkurransen var en bro som skulle føre da folk opp og inn på dette området her. De andre konkurrentene, de som er vist, de ligger litt lenger nede. Og det er jo det man begynner med, egentlig. Og, 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 og det er mange, og det er i grunnen en, en, en veldig spennende besvarelse fra eh, nesten samtlige som har vært med i konkurransen, eh, med i hensyn til det å diskutere et sånt stort område. Vi kan jo se der ute hvor, hvor noen skyter seg ned, og andre går rett og inn og med heis opp, og så videre. En, det er en stor fantasi i, i, i de prosjektene som, som ble presentert, og også i eh, de prosjektene som fikk annet å, å innkjøpe. Neste. Når man ser her at, at vi får da prosjektet liggende her, og det blir en stram linje 
som i grunn skisserer, kan man si da hvis man er litt litterær, eh, demningen, eh, og, eh, og ut av dette skyter da eh, teatersalen som en sånn slags hjørnesten i, 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 mot, mot utsikten og mot bygden. Og det er to ting som skjer her. Det ene er bygget her, og det andre som blir lagt i en mer rolig del og ser ut over, eh, over sand, det lille tettstedet med kirken og grav og, og, og kirkegården. Neste. Og der ble prosjektet følgende at man kommer opp broen og inn og siger da langs med denne muren som er eh, reservert eh, informasjon altså sånn teknisk informasjon, den kan virke både utad og innad i museet, og kommer inn i området her og møter da kaféen og Vesterbyren. Men det som er interessant kanskje er måten vi attackerer denne, denne linjen på av natur. Vi går inn i fjellet av og til, og vi legger og stryker langs med fjellkanten som er veldig bratt, med en betongkonstruksjon som skal se av snittet, og så får vi toaletter og de serviceromene liggende med, eh, og, og utstillings, eh, en institusjon for videre arbeid med utstilling. Så vi, vi drikker nærmest vann fra fjellet og inn i museet, for det er vann det dreier seg og, og fyller da eh, disse, eh, disse temaene med levende vann, som da stiller ut i, går igjennom museet og tar fatt i en bekk som er der fra før, og går ned i Sullandsloven som så har vi da det tradisjonelle uteteater her, og, og noe sånt. Neste. Ja, her ser man altså man siger da langs med denne gangen, og tar man snitt om veggen, så kommer man inn i dette rommet her med, med foss langs med fjellveggen og ut av veggen. Men man, man, man liksom på en måte sier, på en måte, her er jo praktfull utsikt, og det ligger med solen som baker på disse fjellene her, så det, er, det, er, det kan bli et fint motiv å gå inn i dette museet. Inn i det myst, mystiske, får man si. Neste. Ja, det er ikke det bør ikke tenke så mye. Neste. Og der har vi Norge da, som ligger her. Og så har vi det lille, eller store museet som blir lagt da i denne skråningen her, og med loven, eller elven her nede. Neste. Og her har vi snittseksjoner, og det som er mest interessant er at vi brekker en betongkonstruksjon opp og støtter seg til fjellsiden her, og får da disse motivene med vann og, og, og utstilling og informasjonsveggen. Her er snittet med huler, og her er snittet med eh, informasjons, eh, et sånt lite informasjonsrom med video og så videre, og den store, er stor, relativt stort av å være oppe konsertsalen, det er til og med konsert, eller orkestergrad. Og så åpner vi til hele, hele teateret ut mot utsikten, slik at de som spiller der kan spille med naturlige kroner. Spiller man Ibsen, fruen fra havet, så ser man altså havet ut her. <laughs> og disse Fruen kan komme rolig opp fra sin båt her og inn på scenen. Så det, det går an å, å, å lage en forestilling som ikke finnes andre steder på grunn av denne veggen som kan åpnes. Så vi tenkte å bruke teknologien fra porter til de store dammanleggene. Så her har vi det lille snittet, det er da biblioteket. Neste. Og det er da dette, dette, dette teateret da. Igjen, og den går igjen hele tiden, denne konstruksjonen. Har du lyset? Da brekker du opp det hele og tar lyset ned langs med utstillingene her. Og bruker da i rett til, for det er ikke så stort for enkelte steder, så bruker du da åssiden ned her med, 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 eh, vi tenker oss litt sommeren, hvor, hvor det er høyt, og den stryker grantropper eller trærne her og faller ned i museet. Neste. Er det ikke det? Jo. Ja, og det var broen da. Den, den, det, vi har en sånn stor diskusjon om å lage en sånn akkurat bro. Altså med masse konstruksjoner og tre og spenn og varier og alt det her og, og, og alle disse konstruktørene. 
Det var bak i vårt hode, men så slo vi om. Totalt! Og støpte jeg hardt en halv dømning her med et hull i. Og så en liten beskyttelse for det dårlige vestlandsværet som det gikk over broen. Så den ble veldig konservativ, egentlig. Efter alt mase med alle disse kreftene. Men vassdragsvesen har veldig problemer, fordi de lykker hvis de er om, så tar de ikke det hullet. Og da mener vi det er enda mer interessant når de bryter over. Og de små barna må få pek om å ha gummistøvler på for å greie oversvømmelsene. Men den går ikke, tror jeg. Neste. Er det ikke mer enn jo, da? Det er flere bilder. Det er et par til, kanskje. Ja, det er ikke farlig hvis det... Er vi stopp? Ja, fasaden er nok så skjematiske. Men det er en morsom sterke... Det her kommer til å bearbeides på en helt annen måte, så det blir noe litt annerledes når alt er på plass. Neste. Ja, det er det siste bildet, sier vi. Og det var jo for langt et sånt kuleperspektivbilde, at det var vanskelig. Dette terreng med alle elver og bukning, hvor den ble forlengda. Og det som er interessant, det blir noe fanteri borti her, og det taket skal da brekkes opp og drikke lys og alt det her. Den viste nå hvordan prosjektet ser ut ovenfra fra fulens øye. Så takk for det, da er jeg ferdig med første avdeling. And I also got the pleasure to introduce uh, my friend and the um, Italian architect Danilo Guerri. I had uh, uh, last summer I had uh, the opportunity to see uh, uh, several of his 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 work works, and um, I must see. It was uh, an architect that was, in a way, devoted his, uh, his life or his, 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 existent, his existence to, to, to architecture. Um, uh, uh, I, I remember Bienfeld. Bienfeld was here for, for, some, for a year or two. And I asked Bienfeld, how many drawings do you have to a small house? And B and Cell said, oh, 224, usually. <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 it uh, describes how fantastic, uh, seriously, everything is in a production of a man uh, like Gueri with, with he take care of bookshelves and, and every detail in a way that, that uh, I, I think is uh, extraordinary, even in Italy. And, and the house, you have the house and, and you have the, the, um, the, um, the plan or the, the ground. When the ground is finished, ground is finished, or the, 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 the concrete is done, you have a kind of um, ornament for the house. But, but the dramatic, uh, where all the dramatic things ended is in the roof or in the ceiling. That uh, tells the story of, of all the forces that uh, work together to, to keep the house um, uh, uh, as, an, as a construction. And in that field, I think he is a master of, of, um, of telling the last uh, the last, um, uh, uh, the last, uh, what you call the last story of the house is uh, 
in his houses is done in, in the end of the house, I mean, uh, in, in the roof construction and in wood. Because he is in a tradition in Italian architecture that that we can t mention a name, uh, Ridolfi, and that is people that were brick, is brick still. And wood is wood, and concrete is still concrete. That is very seldom now, <laughs> where everything should be uh, uh, hidden or, 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 or uh, the, 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 uh, many things should, should be just volumes without um, this, um, this uh, very carefully uh, touch of, 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 the, of the material. Um, another thing is that in, in his, even in his raw houses or small houses, you feel the urbanistic thinking. Um, from the bookshelves to the to the to the to the streets or to the environment, you feel the same care and the, the same um, the same kind of of, um, of uh, uh, architecture. Uh, 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 the town is actually uh, for him the same detail as. Uh, as the joint point between wood and steel. So, thank you, and please. <laughs> And you, uh, you have no new mm -hmm. jacket, no? It's an old one. Thank you. Uh, I feel this moment, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it was well with talents, it was well with the Italian of uh, uh, the circle of the Casa de, de la Cultura. It's difficult with so many architects. Uh, I live in uh, New Ancona, in the middle of the uh, Adriatic Sea, and uh, I've been graduated in uh, Rome. I studied with uh, Libera. I don't know if you know this uh, good architect, Ludovico Quaroni. And, uh, I have been a, a distant disciple of uh, Mario Rodolfi, which I, I knew in, uh, in the, the last uh, years of his life, and uh, we began very friends. Now, uh, I will show um, two projects uh, quite uh, widely, and uh, there are uh, one house, in uh, adapted premises near Ancona, in face of Mount Cornero, that's the mountain that falls in the sea. And uh, it was a peasant house and uh, was uh, bought by a, 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 a sea agent and uh, became his house. Uh, now, now this uh, sea agent is a rich a rich peasant because he left uh, his agency and uh, uh, began to to live in uh, in uh, the country. And then I will show you uh, um, a group of housing in uh, Senigallia. That's a town uh, uh, north of Ancona, uh, 20 kilometers, about 25 kilometers from Ancona, toward north. And uh, it was uh, an old. Uh, uh, town of uh, Galli Senuni and uh, very singular. 
And if there will be the time, I will show a, a project uh, in part built in, in Ancona, in uh, the neighborhood of Ancona, uh, the center of, uh, of a new neighborhood uh, with uh, some buildings that uh, uh, describe, that uh, uh, define a piazza. If you want to go. This was the Pisan town house, uh, is the front. The house is a long uh, building. Uh, the, 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 first, the first part is uh, the original uh, uh, building. Uh, this measure is uh, 8 meter and 30. And uh, uh, maybe it was of uh, half the past century. It's built in uh, stone, in uh, white stone of the corner, and uh, bricks, layers of brick uh, between uh, layers of stones. Um, this, uh, um, this, four, uh, this part is a, a little part of the house. That, uh, it has been uh, uh, it has been uh, ampliata. Uh, it has grown and uh, at, uh, was added a, a, a big, uh, a big part of this was added in uh, uh, the beginning of the fifties. Uh, next, please. As you see, generally in this type of houses, uh, the staircase is out of the uh, out of the building and uh, the slope uh, uh, cover the staircase. This is uh, added in a, in, a second, in a second time when uh, in the 50s where uh, when made the growing, the growing part. There is a little uh, thick uh, plaster that has been removed by weather and uh, uh, the house was in bad conditions. Uh, the layers uh, in uh, this part were in uh, timber, timber and, uh, and bricks, and they were in, in, uh, in very bad condition. You have to know that uh, uh, this, this, this territory is uh, an earthquake territory, so when I had the uh, when I had to do this project, I reinforced it and I changed the uh, the interior radically, and uh, the exterior is uh, m maybe the same thing, and uh, has been removed this uh, surface, and uh, 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 the next please. This is the tile of uh, um, of the house with the elements with a, a cornice. Uh, not 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 uh, not much dust. Uh, marca marca avanzale is this line that uh, uh, is along all the, the facade. And uh, this is the tie of the corner. And uh, you see uh, these elements that are to reinforce the house for the earthquake of. Uh, um, in, uh, of the 30. In, uh, in the 30, there was uh, a, oh, excuse me, a big earthquake. I asked in the quake uh, that made many damages, and all, all hours was reinforced with the tiranti, iron tiranti. Uh, and these are the sign of the earthquake. The next, please. You see, the was restored. Now we we will go uh, in in tour of the of the house. You see, the the staircase has been removed, and uh, a loggia is uh, is built, hanging from the wall in uh, iron and uh, bricks, glass bricks. It protects the, the the entrance, 
um, changes are uh, the cornice has been removed and uh, il, the, the channel is uh, in uh, incassato nella, in, uh, in the wall. Uh, the next, please. You see a front. You see the same the same elements in front and. Uh, Uh, changes are little changes uh, for uh, there is intonaco that has been removed and uh, Marca de Avanzale has, uh, has been cut to make the, the, uh, the window ribaltare. Uh, and uh, in the second part, you see, uh, this is the old building. Uh, this one is the addiction, it's a very long addition. And uh, this was built, as I said, in uh, stone. Uh, this one is built in bricks. And uh, it was covered by a subtle intonaco, but it was very hard to remove. Uh, we, have re we, have, we began to remove it from, uh, from the upper part, but we, we stopped and leave the intonaco in the, in the, in the lower part. Avanti. Uh, next, please. This is the end of the house. You see, um, in, uh, the house is uh, uh, as, a, as a roof in uh, two slopes. In the central part of the two slopes, of the slopes, uh, th there is a, a supant, and every bedroom has a, a supant which faces uh, to the bedroom and uh, go out in a, in a covered terrace. And this is uh, the cover of one of the three uh, terraces or uh, lodges. And for uh, this part is uh, to south. And uh, the cover is uh, a, uh, a, a timber and a copper cover to defend by the sun. Uh, the next piece, and this is the back. I had, uh, I, I had forgotten to, to, to tell you that the addition that begins here uh, was more, uh, more deep of the front. It reached 10 meters of depth, and uh, in the point of passage from one depth to another, there was a, a, a struggling point. So uh, I worked. The, um, changing uh, the wall and uh, uh, making uh, terraces in the first two uh, bedrooms and uh, closing everything with a glass volume, as you as you see. Uh, the stair is uh, under this uh, uh, ceiling, the, the glass ceiling, and uh, these are the the terraces, the lodges, or the, the other two bedrooms, and uh, for they face, faces in uh, uh, toward north, north west, uh, the surface of uh, uh, of the of the, co co of the covers is uh, a glass surface to permit the light from south uh, to enter and. Uh, uh, to make no ugly uh, bedroom in, uh, in, uh, in the front. Uh, next one. This is a detail of the, these two uh, co uh, coverture. And uh, you see, uh, they are ma were made uh, in uh, a second time. So I had uh, a, a, an horizontal architrave and I want uh, uh, I thought uh, in, uh, in uh, the origin uh, to make a, a, flat, uh, um, a flat ceiling, but it would be it, it would have, it would have uh, um, damaged the, the light of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the bedroom. So I, uh, I made it with the form of tympano, and uh, this type of uh, uh, of form is mediated with the uh, with the horizontal with a growing uh, uh, growing uh, uh, pendenza slope 
from, uh, from architrave to tympano. Uh, next, please. And you see the, uh, the, the truss that, that made this possible, and you see the iron wires in the, in the, in the glass, uh, in the glass lastre. Uh, next, please. Uh, this is uh, uh, the, the, the ground floor. Uh, the most part of the ground floor is uh, dedicated to, um, to services. There is a garage, there is a, a cantina, and uh, this is the entrance. And this one is uh, the, the ground floor, the living room in the ground floor, that has a double eight. You see the, this section, section uh, mezzo. And this is a longitudinal section in which you see the double eight and uh, the, the upper part of the, of the living room. Uh, next, please. This is the entire uh, building. You see the, uh, the bedrooms, one and two, and the, the master bedroom. Uh, each one uh, has, been, uh, has, uh, has been covered here with a, with a flat, uh, um, with a floor. So from the bedroom, uh, you go through the, the stair to the, the upper part, to the supant, and you uh, go out uh, up, up here to the terrace you have seen before. In uh, the first module, the uh, display is inverted, and the terrace is uh, uh, looking south, and you have seen a, a, diverse type of, uh, a different type of, uh, of uh, uh, copertura. Let us go. Next, please. Ah, this is the tile of the front. You see the, the, the copertura and uh, the other two in the back. Next, please. This is a side. Uh, you see that this is the sea. Uh, the front is in, uh, the corner is in front, is a good side. This is the house. This is a, uh, an house of, uh, of another. Uh, property. Avanti. Uh, next, please. There's the balcony that's covered the entrance. And uh, before here was the, the entrance was uh, through the, uh, through the stair, it was uh, here. Uh, you see this, uh, is a joke. It's a sort of meridiana hanging from this, uh, this wall. And next, please. This is a detail of the back. Uh, the two photos are, are quite long, at long uh, distance of time. This is very recent. Uh, next, please. Next, please. We enter in the house. There's the new, the new, the new staircase. Uh, this is a triangular pilaster and uh, a beton uh, uh, staircase uh, conducts from uh, from the first floor to the other. Uh, next, please. And now you see uh, we have. Uh, removed furniture to, to make this photo and, <laughs> and to show uh, to show how, how uh, the, the trusses of, uh, uh, of the roof are uh, projected in the ground and uh, how to the trusses uh, there is this, uh, this, this other uh, trusses were uh, hanged, and uh, there is a library uh, uh, which faces in the main space. Next, please. Another thing: uh, walls uh, are of the type of uh, the. Me ricordo come si dice muratura. Muratura. Vabbè, the wall. Uh, has been reinforced with a, uh, with a, a, a beton uh, wall uh, with buttresses 
and uh, is uh, um, concluded uh, with the, a truce in Beton, uh, from which begins the Hood, uh, hood the Hood uh, uh, roof. Next, please. This is a, you see there are two truces uh, in crown, and uh, they uh, define a, uh, a central plan. Um, and uh, the slopes of uh, the two slopes uh, don't, don't don't make the same thing. Don't don't make a pavilion, but the pavilion is suggested by the truces but, uh, with a, a quite a quite uh, strong uh, uh, sign. And you see, uh, in uh, this is uh, uh, the, the the middle. Uh, uh, we call uh, this this element we call tessera is uh, uh, the tessera di colmo, and uh, in the in the in the part that uh, in, uh, that uh, eight eight meters when it uh, becomes ten meters the colmo uh, slips from here to here and this is the passage and here is the the skylight which. Uh, uh, which is over the, the staircase, the new staircase. Uh, next, please. This is particular of the uh, uh, metal staircase that reaches uh, uh, the last, the last uh, floor. That's a, a sort of a serra, interior serra, under the skylight. You see the the hanging of the ballatoio, of the truss of the ballatoio. Uh, these trusses are uh, um, uh, connected with this diagonal, and uh, to this there are ganged uh, these trusses, and uh, this is the, the auditura of, uh, of, of the floor. Next, please. is a complete uh, vision of, uh, of, of, of this di questo soggiorno e it's complete is a complete view of uh, this living room uh, next please the library the library uh, and, uh, and the double eight of the living room and uh, the uh, truces polonso uh, in uh, that cross each uh, each other next please this is the serra and uh, under the serra uh, there is a, a a secondary living room in contact with the kitchen in, the, in, in this door. Next, please. This is the view from the dining room. Uh, well, well, makes it's a, a particular living room and uh, uh, dining room. And you see the changing of uh, uh, of uh, next, please. This is the tile of, of uh, the chance, the, the crossing of the chance, and uh, a, a, a ring that makes. Uh, um, that, that collects the four uh, armed truss and maintain them vertical. And you see the Tiranti, which hang Ballatoio. Next, please. This is the tile of, uh, of the stair with guard to the server. And you see when, uh, when we, we go high, uh, stairs become um, more graphic. Uh, when they go to the light, they become more transparent. Next, please. 
That is the, the last detail of uh, the skylight and the chimney of uh, this one. <laughs> there are four images with, uh, with furniture. Is, uh, this, uh, uh, this photo, uh, this picture is uh, by Iri Avram and uh, they are more natural. Next, please. There's the staircase. This is uh, the, the entrance. The entrance in which the, the arch that divides the two, uh, the two rooms uh, becomes the, the general trace of, uh, of the vault that covers the entrance. A detail of the staircase. And that's all I think. And now this is uh, the section of another building, another building in uh, near uh, near Fasconara, near that's uh, near Ancona. It's uh, a little bank. A cooperative bank. Uh, also, this is a building in adapted premises. You you see the the man uh, the man hole uh, with the with the room that is an assembly room for the, the cooperative uh, the, the, the the cooperativists. Uh, next, please. Uh, these are the main, uh, uh, the main plans. Uh, here are the two uh, entrances, entrance and uh, uh, an exit. Uh, the bank, the service area, and the public, uh, the public space. And this is uh, the the top of the building. Over this, uh, over this, there is a, um, a little assembly assembly uh, room. And the cover slips from uh, from one to the other face without uh, this these walls don't don't reach the the ceiling. Next, please. This is the tile of uh, a long section of the roof, and you see that the walls stops here. And uh, the roof is entire in, uh, in the whole building. Uh, now there is uh, some images. This is uh, the public space of the bank. You see the ceiling. Over the ceiling there is the assembly room. The ceiling does not reach the, uh, the wall, the exterior wall. And uh, original uh, windows are served by this passage. Next, please. The tile of Ballatoio. That's uh, is a double eight uh, room. Next, please. And there's a detail of uh, of the roof that cover the the building. Here there is uh, the same type of uh, Capriata Polonso, the truss. Uh, it changes, uh, it changes, it changes elements, and uh, um, the Monaco becomes uh, in iron. And so the Tiranti are in iron too, and so the, the catena. The this timber is Iroko. The the first one was pitch pine. Uh, next, please. This is the style of, uh, of the Monaco. This is the catena that is uh, passing. And uh, these are tiranti of, uh, uh, of armatures. And uh, this detail I owe to, to brother. I don't remember <laughs> the brothers. Green and green. Green and green. Thank you. <laughs> Next, please. Oh, 
and uh, now this is the second uh, the second project I would uh, show you. It's uh, uh, 20, 20 dwellings in uh, Senigallia, in uh, in a place that called uh, uh, the Quartiere del Piano Regolatore. Uh, that's a, a place that was uh, uh, built. Uh, um, after the 30, 13 earthquake that uh, uh, destroyed Senegalia, and uh, there is a, a, a neighborhood with um, uh, villas, uh, not tall buildings, and this is uh, and there was in, in in this area there was a big restaurant, a little uh, hotel, and some. Uh, uh, some little buildings that uh, have been uh, incorporated in uh, this. Uh, I said it is a, dwell, a 20, 20 unit dwellings, but uh, it's a particular uh, uh, ensemble. Uh, for uh, it uh, quite diffused in the area, and um, the connection between dwellings are quite. Uh, interesting, quite very, uh, varied. Uh, this is a row of five ailments. The last one you don't see because uh, uh, it, has, uh, it has been uh, modifying from, from the contiguity of, uh, of the corner of, uh, of an house. And uh, over, this is over another uh, row of five ailments that go from this wall to the street uh, with a depth of 24 meters, and uh, it is a, a, it has a part to one plan, and the other one is uh, two pl two one plan. One. Uh, uh, let's see. Huh? Uh, let's see one level and uh, of two 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 floors in the, in the first uh, in the first part. Uh, next, please. This is uh, another another photo. You have uh, in uh, in a second time next. Uh, it was uh, uh, it was filmed uh, uh, some some month ago. Uh, the, the first one was uh, not not yet uh, ended. Not not yet uh, uh, finished the, the building. Uh, there is this uh, characteristic facade with the, this uh, circular uh, uh, window that designed the begin the, the center of the design of the, the, the entire facade. Uh, here I can say that uh, uh, bricks are, uh, are laid in a different way. Uh, are, uh, they are linked together uh, in when, when they cover a, a pilaster they have another uh, another this, uh, texture when it becomes only frame. Uh, let us go. And, uh, next, please. This is the tile of, uh, uh, of this facade, the passage between uh, this arch, uh, uh, arch window to the, the circular window and uh, the difference between uh, this part with cover uh, pilaster the other that is uh, only a frame. <coughs> and next please. Uh, next please. There's the tile of, of walls that define a garden, a little garden. Next please. And this is the front in the, in the street is the part uh, of uh, of two, two, two floors, uh, here are the, the entrance, and each uh, element is from here to here. These are bedrooms, and uh, here the entrance is the bedroom. Next, please. Uh, this is the point in which uh, the row uh, grows, the grow of a half half a um, half a story, uh, and uh, here this, uh, the, 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 uh, there is a double eight 
there is a double eight in which uh, living room, uh, this is the door of the kitchen, and this is the door in a, in a part that, uh, uh, that faces uh, uh, living room. Uh, from here, um, the, the building advances uh, of, of a meter and twenty uh, and becomes more high. Uh, Avanti. Uh, next, please. This is the tile of, uh, of the previous. Next, please. Next, please. This is near to the corner. The corner, uh, is the corner um, in the corner there was a, a little building that has been uh, uh, connected to the new, and uh, there is an axle of symmetry, a diagonal axle of symmetry, and this is a bit uh, out of the corner. This. You see the entire uh, front. And you see the part in which it, the, the building goes and uh, turn the corner. Next, please. This is the other, uh, the other end of the, of the first uh, row. Uh, you see uh, that uh, the building has, uh, has been conditioned by the distance of, uh, of, uh, of the corner of another. Uh, on another building that made uh, uh, this uh, uh, I don't know how to say. Uh, next, please. This is the corner uh, from the interior. And this is the, uh, the double eight uh, uh, that I spoke previously. Avanti. Next, please. In uh, the last uh, dwelling is uh, of uh, two stories and is collected with a, with a staircase that is, which is, uh, is in evidence with this volume. Uh, next, please. There is a lodge, it is covered. Next, please. This is the interior of this room. It is the part uh, of only one story, the two-story high uh, part and the three-story. And uh, this is a sort of a uh, of claustrum of, uh, of yard. And uh, that's the path that uh, uh, serviced the dwellings in the, in the superior row. And this one is uh, the little hotel that has been changed in uh, five apartments. Next, please. Is the detail of the previous image. Next, please. You see, uh, in this part, uh, there are patios. Uh, which uh, enlight uh, the, the dining hall of, uh, of inferior row, and these are the entrance of superior row. Uh, the, the inferior row has a, a, second, a second floor uh, and, uh, that lives like an uh, like autonomous apartment, and these are the entrance. Now, when you will see drawings, you will understand well. Uh, these are, uh, this is a truth that uh, uh, sustain uh, the, the terrace and the cover. This is the interior uh, of uh, one of the of dwelling. You see the patio and the entrance in uh, in the spondo. Uh, 
is the same uh, dwelling from the uh, from the entrance. You see the staircase that goes to the uh, to the first floor, and uh, in uh, you see the, the the garden in the spondo. Uh, this staircase is uh, only in uh, in Baton without without other other material, and it's quite a good uh, example of uh, many fact. Next, please. You see from uh, uh, from the path that distributes uh, uh, superior uh, superior row, uh, there is this this, uh, this, uh, uh, this brick uh, glass brick uh, uh, stone that enlighten uh, the the staircase. This one of uh, of other apartments. Uh, this is a little piazza. Uh, um, it, it is reached uh, through a passage uh, that uh, the, that is along the, the building, and uh, this wall is to to defend by the inside uh, the, the, the privacy of uh, of the living room. Next, please. This by by the interior. Next, please. This is the living room of one of uh, other apartments. So this was a, a detached part of, uh, of the hotel, and uh, we changed it. We made this pavilion uh, with, uh, with an iron, uh, with a, a wood, uh, uh, wood roof. Next, please. A detail of the roof. Next, please. This is the, the other apartment with the double eight and uh, the part of the and uh, this is the end of the part that distributes the uh, the schiera, the the row uh, in uh, in the courtyard. And the same uh, staircase. Seen from from below. And this is one of the rooms that is used, is used as a studio by the owner. And I think this is the end of the. Now you see the front of this complex, you see the hotel, the, the row, the five elements of the row. In the background uh, there is uh, the, uh, the interior part of the building, uh, three story high, and the corner. There is a drawing, uh, um, a first drawing, is, is, it, it, has, it has been quite changed in the realization. This is a section parallel to the front, and you see the passage and uh, the ramp which reaches uh, the path, but here there is a, a jump of section and the section path through the, uh, the courtyards. And you see back the, the, the superior row that, that is served by these paths and uh, the corner. This is the plan. This is the plan which the corner, which uh, involves uh, uh, this building, this existing pavilion, and uh, the hotel is collected with the, the double row of five elements. This is the inferior. You see, it's a long uh, building, a depth, a depth building, 24 meters, and uh, that is interrupted by this uh, this little cart, this little patio. So the bedrooms, the faces on the garden and on the patio, living room, kitchen, a bathroom, and the, and the staircase which goes to the upper, to the upper part. Mm -hmm. And here there are uh, two little apartments with the living room, bedroom, and bathroom. And here the beginning of the ramp. 
from here we pass to the little piazza you have seen that that wall that uh, bricks wall and uh, you uh, take this path and this is the, the second little piazza and the path to, 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 to go out this is the ramp of the garage the second plan you see this is uh, uh, you come from uh, from from the uh, from the, the first level and here's the main, the main bedroom that a little uh, apartment with the uh, entrance from path and uh, <coughs> bedroom living room with the uh, with the bathroom and uh, here are the entrance to the other apartment you see the kitchen uh, bathroom living room with a terrace and with a frangisole to uh, to avoid the, the the inside from here to the to the inferior uh, floor uh, the staircase which goes uh, Apple. Here there is an interesting uh, escamotage. Uh, these uh, two bathrooms can be uh, more uh, more tall than other uh, than other rooms, and uh, so it's possible. Um, over there, there are two other bedrooms, and uh, in the end, there is a supant. Uh, you will see now. Next, please. You see uh, uh, the, the staircase uh, that serves uh, the the previous for for the for the less uh, uh, for they are less uh, less tall uh, serves uh, the bedroom and uh, the double bedroom of of children and the master bedroom and. Uh, From uh, from the bedroom there are little little stairs that go that goes up here, and uh, from the corner master bedroom there is a stair that goes in the sopalco. Uh, next, please. Like you see, the master bedroom has a sopalco that faces uh, that uh, faces on the, on the bedroom and uh, is uh, out uh, as a as a balcony that was. Uh, that balcony under the uh, the big trees you have seen before, and each uh, uh, each uh, bedroom uh, has a sopalco. Uh, okay, and this is uh, the, the 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 roof uh, roof plan. You see this uh, these bolts. Uh, mixed with uh, with sloping uh, with sloping next please this is uh, a transvex sec section and uh, you see the the apartment that uh, uh, that has the depth of the of the building you see the uh, the cart, these bedrooms, and the staircase which goes to the apartment. Uh, you, if you remind, this is a, a section that looks like uh, uh, Maison Jaoul uh, by Le Corbusier in Paris. And uh, I had uh, this uh, building in mind when I projected this. And there are some details. This is uh, the passage from uh, uh, the staircase which goes to the path uh, that distributes the row, uh, the, the, row uh, the superior row. You see the, this this bolt that uh, that begin uh, from uh, from horizontal to, to to circular, and the path and uh, the staircase which uh, fills the path. This is uh, a detail of uh, of screen. Um, here there are windows of uh, of bathrooms, and here is the pillar that's covered with the. Uh, 
mio design, al mio, al mio rivestimento. Ah, this is quite interesting because uh, uh, this is the old building and it had not a, a good uh, uh, a good wall, um, so I had to enlarge uh, windows, uh, but I could not make, uh, I could not have uh, a plumb uh, for, for, for the strange uh, um, uh, texture of the wall, so I enlarged them and uh, revested uh, the, the, the spalle of the fence of the window with these tiles, but uh, uh, one, uh, the height of, uh, of one tile uh, was not the same of four, of, uh, of four layers, so I cut them and, uh, and this, uh, I cut them and I slipped to, to reach this side, and that's all. This is a, uh, the, the, the window of the kitchen that uh, is an insert in, uh, in, a, in a brick, uh, glass brick wall. Oh, this is a project, but I think uh, you are quite tired of my bad English. Uh, this is a project uh, uh, that has been uh, viewed in this part. It was uh, commissioned by, by the administration, by the municipality of Ancona, and it is the, the, central, uh, the, the central plaza of, an, of a neighborhood, of a recent neighborhood, uh, entirely completed. Uh, it was uh, provided uh, in two groups of buildings, uh, the, uh, the left one, uh, it was uh, a secondary school uh, with a, 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 a kindergarten and uh, a palestra and uh, a swimming pool. Uh, the other one, uh, it was a, a student housing in, in the middle, uh, a row of, of, uh, of dwellings and the top uh, and uh, the basement was uh, a commercial basement with a, a, a supermercato, a, a shopping center, uh, exploded from, uh, from, the, from the building and uh, partially underground uh, in the front. This is a sloping site and uh, here um, uh, uh, ceilings and, uh, and roofs are very important for from from this uh, this street you see you touch them and you see in the fore in the foreground uh, now we have built a model and uh, next uh, uh, next pictures are uh, a round picture of, of the model uh, next please this is a zenithal view Next, please. So you see uh, the complex with the palestra, the swimming pool, uh, the school, the secondary school that is uh, a, a, that became a tower in, uh, in the foreground, and uh, it has uh, the first floor, uh, the first three uh, floors uh, occupied by a, a civic center and uh, the, uh, the scuola materna and uh, this is uh, the, the row of dwellings, the nine dwellings. This part is occupied by uh, student housing and uh, it has a, a different depth uh, and this is uh, the shopping center. Now we, we go uh, in tour. You see uh, the towers uh, that uh, sign the entrance from, uh, from, from the street. And you see that uh, this building is uh, cut by a, uh, 
by a, a strong uh, a strong sign that is a ramp that uh, that uh, uh, that comes from here to to here and distributes the mainly uh, the housing the student housing um, the part that uh, faces to the plaza and the other uh, you see that uh, the palestra is uh, composed by six uh, pyramids which uh, in, uh, in a diverse manner uh, compose the, uh, the scuola materna uh, You see the, the building on the plaza. You see uh, the the ground ground attack with the, uh, with two loggia, uh, one double eight and another, and uh, the piloty school and uh, the commercial uh, the commercial part of the of the building and uh, the three levels of student houses. Uh, the common uh, common rooms of the student housing and the parkings in the periphery of this uh, building. This is uh, a view from uh, from the superior street, and you see how uh, how present, how, how near are these. Uh, uh, these roofs and the importance they have. You see the uh, the ramp that cuts into into part the the first building. And this is a, is a series of, uh, of of drawings in which you see the, uh, the the piazza and the sloping part of the piazza, the nursery with the um, uh, with Piloti and uh, the plan of the nursery and uh, the building of uh, a civic center that, reach, that, that is uh, from here to here and uh, that has a, a, a strong structure that uh, permits to, to, to have no, no pillars in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the ground uh, where is the assembly room uh, a double eight uh, path, and uh, over here there are special uh, special classes till to this building on the top of uh, this uh, terrace, uh, and uh, that is uh, a sala delle feste, a general. Uh, This is another another front in which you see uh, palestra, you see piscina, and between them there is a a path that uh, comes from the piazza. Uh, in, uh, in next, please. This is a cut through piscina and palestra, and uh, uh, the path. And uh, this is a cut uh, through uh, Scuola Materna or Kindergarten and the Palestra. And you see that the uh, Palestra is uh, a, an interesting uh, structure of, of, of a roof. Palestra is also the assembly room of uh, the entire uh, neighborhood. There's the cut of uh, the swimming pool, uh, this uh, this truss with uh, timber and uh, iron, and this is skylight, and then collecting truss. Here's uh, the foreground. This is the plan of the. Uh, in which you can see an important, uh, an important layer, uh, the lodge, uh, the entry into the school, and uh, to the uh, palestra, and uh, the, the path between palestra and piscina, and the structure of piscina with the fortresses, and uh, the one that collects all. Next, please. This is uh, the school. 
the classes, the special classes, and the plan of the of the Scuola Materna as a combined of four of three classes and a, a group of services connected within within and uh, covered with the uh, with the with a, uh, with a timber uh, a timber roof. You see the structure of uh, the palestra and the covering of the the, the swimming pool. This is the first building that uh, has been realized. This is the part of the, of the college, uh, the living room of the college, and the distribution in, uh, in plan, and the ramp that distributes the part that faces the plaza. Uh, the same thing uh, at, the, at the superior level, you see the uh, the rule of the part, the spare part of the, the living room, and uh, the beginning of the row of housing. Uh, there's say six uh, six dwellings, and uh, three other dwellings are in the top. Next, please. Uh, the three other dwellings that is the top of the building. Here's a section of uh, the palestra. Uh, you see this structure made by by pyramids and uh, a, a a ceiling in a skylight that uh, a central skylight in in the transverse section. This is the tile of the roof. Uh, various texture, and uh, the, the trusses, the principal trusses, one, two, three, and four, and uh, the other four trusses, let's go from here to here, and various uh, uh, patterns of, uh, of texture. Uh, here you, you can see the, the form of, uh, of the trusses. And this is the model of the tower uh, that's the end of the, uh, the school, uh, of the school. Uh, you see the, these pillars don't, don't go to, to the ground. They are, uh, uh, are brought by this big arch. And uh, uh, the other pillars are brought by these uh, um, trusses, uh, florii reticular trusses in Beton and uh, the uh, Sala del Feste. Detail of the section, you see the double eight of, uh, uh, of the civic center, uh, another plan of the civic center in which are uh, the clubs and uh, uh, special, uh, uh, special classes uh, of the school and uh, the pavilion, uh, the superior pavilion. This is the title of, of, the, of the model. Uh, the double eight, the arches that, uh, that bring this, uh, these pillars. This one that, uh, that look by this uh, uh, this structure, this uh, reticular truss, and uh, <coughs> this is a variante of uh, of the swimming pool. There's the uh, the roof. This is the, the, the transversal section with the uh, with the dam truss in iron, and uh, a longitudinal section in which you, uh, you understand the uh, the form of uh, uh, of the roof. These are skylights, and these are the capiate polonso from trusses you have uh, before seen. And the same uh, polished. There's 
the front. And this is the building of the first path in a, in a, previous, uh, in a previous way. You, you, you see the, the, the cut between the two parts of building. Uh, this is uh, in a more advanced moment, but not, not yet finished. It's, uh, it's finished now. This uh, is a photo of last summer. By the path of the street, you see the it has vanished the the the, the out uh, out of ground uh, part of the uh, of the Grande Magazzino has become uh, entirely underground. stop here. <laughs> Thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you, Danilo Guerri. Um, I'm sorry for my English. <laughs> a big confusion. <laughs> if I could it, speak in Italian. it doesn't matter when your pictures are so nice. We are looking at the picture, and we understand also what you are saying. Uh -huh. But okay. I think we called his uh, lecture playing with the bricks. We didn't actually know all your work when we put that title on your lecture. I think you're not only playing with the bricks. I think you are. Uh, using materials in a way you are not playing with them you are uh, actually making pieces of art of the materials um, especially I think um, I will mention um, the connections you make between steel and wood we as Norwegians think that we are we have very much wood in Norway. I think you have seen spruce and all that. Yeah, very good in that. <laughs> but, and we think that we are able to make very good wooden architecture. But we see that you are doing this in a much neater, uh, much, I don't know, in, in another way and we are doing it, and you are combining it with steel, and some of your steel details with, with wood. I mean, I don't know how you do it, but we, we are not doing it. And that was perhaps more, for me, uh, more interesting to see than you play with bricks. So, you are very concerned about details. I know that, because I spent the whole day with uh, Danilo, uh, looking at buildings in Oslo and Cosmo, and uh, I saw that you were most interested in Cosmo's details at, at the Stenson Villa, and you, all the sketches you made was of the fireplace or the lamp or something like that. So therefore, we have uh, I, a gift for you, which is a one-to-one -one size of a Cosmo detail. <laughs> it's a fork. Excuse me, also the knife. It's a knife. It's for fish. Uh, and it's one for your wife. Thank you.